Hello, how are your kidneys doing? This is Catherine and welcome to WO Kidney. In today's video I'll talk about the health benefits of baking soda. And since a lot of you are asking in comments also about the dangers of GMO foods. This is a weekly video about your comments. So let's start! In my video How to Treat Kidney Disease, Thomas Gold asks, some YouTube videos say that taking baking soda helps to cure kidney problems. Can you advise on this? Thanks. Hello Thomas and thank you for your comment. Baking soda is a very interesting topic. Here's what you need to know. Yes, baking soda can help and there are serious studies done on a large number of test subjects proving that it works. According to a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, kidney patients taking a daily dose of baking soda were able to slow down the progression of CKD. Scientists stated that, and I'm quoting here, this cheap, simple supplement improves the nutritional status of patients and has the potential to translate into significant economic and quality of life gains, as well as clinical benefits. This means that there are studies proven baking soda to have some serious capability of improving not just the renal function of the subjects of the test, but their quality of life as well. Now, this is almost common knowledge, as a lot of people made videos about this here on YouTube, and there are tons of reading material about it. But. Not everyone knows that baking soda really works well just for kidney patients in the advanced stages of CKD. So, just for patients with kidneys almost not working at all. The problem that baking soda solves is a condition called metabolic acidosis. Failing kidneys remove less acid from the body, causing it to accumulate. Baking soda, being alkalizing, can neutralize this excess of acids, reducing the damage taken by the kidneys. So yes, if you have CKD, definitely try baking soda. In one of my previous videos, I've explained how to use it correctly to maximize its benefits. I'm putting a card here on the top right, so watch the video if you want to know more. Feel free to ask in comments for any clarification you need. Now, on with the next comment. This is um, basically the same comment from two different users. Arshel2000 and Amlalu both stated that it is better to avoid non-organic soy foods and GMO soy. And they definitely have a point here. While not all GMO foods are dangerous, there are studies confirming the dangers associated with GMO soy. And since a lot of the soy we consume is from GMO sources, it's a good idea to only eat non-GMO organic soy foods. Now, the problem is that in the US, 80-90% to of soybeans are genetically modified. GMO soy has been found to cause liver and kidney problems, allergic reactions, increased infant mortality, and sterility. Even the purpose of the modifications done on soybeans is dangerous. Soybeans are modified to be more resistant to an herbicide called glyphosate, which presents various health concerns for humans and specifically for our kidneys. So, what they are basically doing is modifying soybeans in dangerous ways so they can put more of a dangerous poison on the crops. So, while soy has a lot of benefits for the health of our kidneys, choosing the right source of the soy we eat is really important. So be always careful with what you eat. This was our last comment for today. Do you want me to answer your questions? Just write them down in comment section and I'll do my best to give you an answer in comments or in my next video. If you like this video, please like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.